A Broughton Street business is at the center of a social media controversy over their new promotion. WJCL's Danae Bucci spoke with a business who says they're just trying to create equity. Danae. We are waiving our refundable $20 deposit fee for black people, indigenous people, and people of color. That announcement is what started a social media firestorm for local vintage store Civvies on Broughton. This promotional waiver um, serves the substantial business purpose of centering and prioritizing um, people who might not be able to access vintage clothing. Manager Rain Blunk posted the new promotion on the company's Facebook and Instagram pages last Wednesday. After reopening following a COVID-19 shutdown, they began requiring appointments for all of their customers and a $20 deposit for white customers. Commenters on the post say the policy discriminates against white people. Most of the feedback has been that our decision to waive this refundable deposit is racist because it favorites people of color, black people and indigenous people. The post has garnered more than 300 comments, some of which threaten lawsuit and boycotts to the 15 year old business. But Blunk says the promotion does not discriminate against anyone. Obviously, it is unfortunate to have thousands of people commenting and messaging us saying that they are going to sue us and have contacted the Department of Labor because this is a violation of their rights. Um, we believe that the what we are doing is within the confines of the law and beyond the law. Blunk says they hope this promotion will bring about more equality to people of color. They are at this time the most likely to be um, affected by the poverty line. So this is not based on a racial favoritism towards black people, people of color and indigenous people. It is simply a fact that that group of people are the most likely to be affected by um, a loss of historical equity, and we are taking a small step to restore that as a business by choosing to waive this fee temporarily. The store manager says most of the comments from come from people who are out of state.